good morning. And I'm gonna do something different here. I don't I don't normally do on most other uploads. I'm gonna have some um, music going in the background. I don't know so I don't know if it's gonna be too loud or too quiet or whatnot, but I just thought I'd do something different. But anyway, um I thought I would um I thought I'd do a sort of kind of refresher. I've been playing this game for I probably say a couple weeks now. So I thought I would go ahead and do what I did um uh, that I did beforehand. Um when this game was first downloading, when I was trying to get it installed and everything, I went ahead and got onto the um I went on to the overview and I just um I just commented on all the features the game had and stuff. Um so I thought I'd go ahead and do that today. Um after after having played the game for a little bit. And this is devastating skills and valuable items. Yep, la di da. Skills and Path of Exile are items. Um, <clears throat> realistically, it, kind of a drawback. I mean, like what? Like, uh, what happens when you pull a ground slam jam out of it? I mean, do you just all of a sudden go, duh, me don't know. I mean, so, I mean, realistically, it doesn't make sense. In the game, though, it, oh, God. There all kinds of different combinations you can... You can put in support skills and whatnot. I mean, the possibilities are nearly endless. Uh, I think that was uh That's pretty much one advantage this game had over uh, Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. Uh, I think Diablo 2, you had three trees. You can just... And even then, you... No, no, you... I mean, Path of Exile still had that. I was about to say that uh, you couldn't access... The skill down here at the bottom of the tree until you slogged your way all the way down to level 30 just to access it and, but uh, uh but then again this game kind of has that too you don't you don't get certain gems until you've completed um uh, com gone, uh, gone to a certain milestone in the uh, storyline and i just said that Uh, I said that one too. Up to five support gems can affect it. Up to five, but uh, you don't get that uh, six socket armor until probably like at least Act Five, Act Six. But in other words, you had to have played the game for a while in order in order to get that. And even then, it's random, uh, or you're gonna have to put in some work in order to make it work. Another feature I found recently that I kind of like, solo self-found mode. That means, same issue as always, these, uh, these title, uh, these header titles here tend to have a very large hitbox, for lack of a better word. Because of that, this happens. But, this is one, this is one thing I like, uh, about this game that I do over the other the other two games I played, I'm, you can go into solo self found mode, like it's a, like it's an actual official game mode you can go into, and uh, which means uh, I'm not forced to have to rely on other people hoping they have the items I need. I mean, that's definitely not fun. I don't like being at the mercy of other players. This this here is an ability I used to use. It fell by the wayside for some reason. Not a caster. Fun ability right here. Corpse explosion. You, you basically, um, it's going to get the most use out of the shadow class. Since their two main stats is dexterity and intelligence. seen that before um, I'd rather use it myself than to rely on a totem to do it something else I like about this game not every um, not every effect is beneficial some of them come at a price like this does 
Same thing here. Actually, um, I didn't have I didn't have this particular particular gem. I had like a lesser multiple projectiles. I think what's called. But yeah, same thing with this. They often come at a cost. But, but anyway, I'm not. I'm not here to analyze items. I'm here to do a refresher on this. Yup. Another reason I like this game. Oh my god, and you're gonna you're gonna see it later on too. I think if I was ever if I was to ever get a tattoo, it would probably be the uh, skill tree on this. Which would not be feasible. I don't have. I, I probably don't have enough body, nor do I have enough money for something like that. You, later on, you'll find out why. Yup. Yup, I've done this. Travel across the tree to build a combination of skills. My main character is a marauder, and he starts on the. Uh, the western part of the tree but uh eventually i wind up in i wind up heading up north into the templar territory to grab the uh shield buffs and all the uh, mace buffs and if um depending on if mood hits me right i might actually end up going up even farther north there's uh more mace abilities and um also have um there's also like elemental damage up there too so i'm not stuck in just the western part of the tree. Yep. And this is what I use right here, resolute technique. Uh, I get a, I have a fair amount of uh, life leech, mana leech, so all my hits need to land. Not big on minions. Seen a few of these, seen a few of these, but uh, they're completely random, just like every other item. So, and they're also super rare. So it really sucks when I, when I get that rare jewel that has mods I don't want. <laughs> yeah, I said it before. Wow, that looks almost like the World of Warcraft. Just alter the spelling a little bit. I said it before the last time. Apparently, if they've ever seen, uh, they've never played Diablo 2 or Diablo 3, then they're nowhere near cartoony. Hell, there's people that, there's people that say, uh, Diablo 3 is cartoony. I'm wondering how. But, uh, I do have, I do have to, uh, give the props to the guys, though. They did do a good job making this, uh, dark, gritty, and realistic. I mean, it's even got cannibals, which, you know, that, I mean, when you're stranded on a, when you're stranded at a beach or on an island, that tends to happen, you know, no food around, so the only thing they can do is uh, either eat crab or eat each other, so. I think um, on one of my blog posts, I added a couple screenshots of uh, piles of bodies. I don't. I don't recall seeing anything like that in um, Diablo 2, but like I said, it's been a it's been a long time since I played it, so memory might fail. Um, Diablo 3, I think there was. There might have been, but I didn't. But none of but if there was, none of them really had me going whoa like it did in this game. And. Probably in probably uh, Diablo three, it just it looked like it was just a it was just drawn art, it was just a drawn picture or drawn image, and they just it is they just copy paste the image on various various spots. I didn't really get that impression uh, in this game. Like some of them are dipped in blood and stuff. Like, And 
ass out of him before last time. As far as replayability goes, we'll be the judge of that, not these guys. Yep. And as a special added bonus, they have um, they also have what are called strong boxes, and corrupted zones. I think it's called. And they're all random. Plus, uh, you get uh, random missions from various people. So, if this is what they mean by replayability, good job, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do a do a quick system check here. Make sure everything's working. Yep, everything still checks out. I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know how loud or soft the music is. If it's too loud or quiet, sorry. But I don't. This is one of those I don't get much of a second chance on. It's completely designed around items. Surprise, surprise! Nearly every RPG game is. I take it. I've gotten a few of those once in a while. I guess at the end game, they're fairly common. This is another thing I like about the game. Um, like, another thing I like about this game. Um, end game looks to be a lot more interesting than Diablo 3 or Diablo 2 or Final Fantasy 14, where it's all grinding the same thing over and over, at least at least with maps, you get a little bit of variety here. They're all random. Hardly use these, mainly because I go through too many uh, weapons and armor. In the early game, I use these fairly often. Um, at this point in the game, I'm in Act 3. I'm probably most likely to use this on a, on a flask, if anything. And in this game, like in all other games I play, I'm not a competitive person. The only person I care to compete against would be myself. But I don't... I'm not a race person. I'm not a... I'm not a seasons person. I'm not a ladder person. I want to keep my characters until the end of time and not at the end of a season. Stop. Although to be fair, they do it. Apparently, they do this a lot. Hell, I'm, hell, I'm not even an actual event or an actual league, and I see this. You got to kill totems too in this game. Totems that uh that buff up the monsters. You gotta kill those two. Hell, there's even a, there's even a totem that has a, what's it? Allied creatures cannot die, which means you have to kill the totem first. And uh, yesterday, I nearly died because of it. I ran into a, I mean, it, it showed that, it, I mean, it showed that all the monsters that were protected, that weird yellow runic icon looking thingy uh, underneath them. I thought maybe it was like a boss monster or something. Apparently, nope, it was a totem. The totem stood in place while I ended up being surrounded by all these monsters. Um, luckily, through some great miracle, the totem blew up and along with poof, all the rest of the monsters. If, if that hadn't happened, I probably would have had to roll another character. Alright, well, let's go to the passive tree. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> understand why? Understand now why the, trying to get a tattoo of all this would be very unfeasible, next to impossible. Like I said, I don't have, I don't have the body, and I don't have the money for something like this. And I wouldn't want some little sweetened and condensed version, you know, like. The whole damn it. Hang on, hang on. 
Mike fell. Like I was saying, I don't, and I wouldn't want like the whole entire the whole entire tree like a little tiny tattoo on my on my upper arm or anything like that. I'd want I want it big enough so you can at least see what all the icons look like. Thirteen hundred and twenty-five. Here, let me um because the mic fell right on top of my keyboard. Let me check and see if uh, my YouTube's still in working order. Okay. Let me check the headphones. Uh oh. Okay, it's still going. All right. Getting back to the task at hand. Yep. Uh, like I said. In fact, let me um. I guess I could probably show you really quick where I'm at. See the way I'm doing it. Getting to here and just buffing up the one handed melee weapons. My Marauder is a, is a Mason Shield, Mason Shield Fighter. Went over here and just went around. Went up, and like I said earlier, um, I do. I have a fair amount of uh, life leech, mana leech, and uh, probably other various on hit effects. So my hits have to land. And then found a jewel from a quest. But you, you see what I'm doing here? I started in the Marauder, my Marauder area, but now uh, I'm going up here in a uh, Templar territory. And eventually, I'll go around and do this. And depending on the kind of mood I'm in, I might just do this, go up. Actually, no, scratch that. And going from here, going down, I got more shield abilities. Get all them. And then since I'm here and I kind of need the resistances. And pick up everything in that area. And then chances are what I'll probably do after that. go here I might just go here and then I'll play it by ear from there or go straight up and uh more mace buffs this one here is a uh... yeah this is probably as far as I go right here I don't have crit so and I don't have crit, don't need the accuracy. Um, elemental damage, it'd probably be a judgment call, but for purposes of uh, what I'm saying right now. I just go ahead and get that just for the uh, extra elemental damage. But, if you, but as you can see here, but if you see, I'm hardly even spending any time in the, uh, in the Marauder area. I'm heading straight north in the Templar country. And then who knows? There's a. I might just grab that since um, my main attribute is fire. Maybe uh. Pick up some of this. 
Maybe you can pick up some of this too. Maybe pick see now I'm heading into I'm heading into the witches area now. But if you can see but basically what I'm saying is uh this is a uh, gotta be one of the least restrictive games class wise that I've seen. I mean yeah, I'm a marauder, but I don't have to I don't have to stay a marauder. Um Final Fantasy Tactics is another game that comes to mind too. I mean, it's almost limitless what you can do, what you can do on there. I mean, yeah, you can, you might be a black mage, but you can put so many other combinations of skills in your slots. I mean, you, you can do almost anything. Oh, and in case I forgot to mention it, and you can't, um, uh, you can't, you can't buy these. I don't think you can craft them, but, um. Uh, if for some reason the build you're working on just isn't working out, you can always refund your points. Uh, I think I've covered everything I was going to cover in this. Um, ascendancy classes. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and give a quick rundown on them. I think they require you to be in the end game. I think our max level is a hundred, if I'm guessing right, which as I play hardcore, I may not even live to see it, so most of the stuff just gotta go in one eye and out the other. Completing the Lord's Labyrinth. I believe this is what you have to go through at the end of the game. But uh there's also a uh, Trials of Ascendancy that you have to go through. There's uh ten acts in this game. And um I think you have to do all of the trials of ascendancy and all ten acts in order to access Lord's Labyrinth. But like I said, I play hardcore. I may not even live to see the end game, so a lot of this shit's gonna go right over my head. Yeah, see that because the ascendancy classes are basically I think basically the skill trees in Diablo 2. Each one has their own way of doing things again. Like a lot of it's obvious just by the pictures. I mean, Slayer specializes on two-handed weapons, gladiator, uh, dual wielding, champion, sword and shield, various things, uh, I guess. Nope, they're just pictures. But yeah, I guess Marauder, Juggernaut was the same thing, sword and shield, he specializes in defense. Um, Berserker, I'm guessing, is a dual wielder and probably relies on uh, war cries. That's another thing this game has, and there's uh, different kinds too. Uh, Chieftain uh, specializes in totems and uh, fire damage. So. See, this this was my first character, but he, I had a hard time making him work. But uh, considering uh, considering the fact that I played this game for a little bit now, and uh, I might actually uh, I might actually go back to Templar. Might might give him another go. But like I but like I said before, these are things you don't get until the end game. And I might be dead long before then. So let's continue on to items. Mods, blatantly obvious. Anybody who's played any of these games at any time knows all about them. I still got to read up on this too. Uh, stuns seem to work differently in this game. I mean, because uh, uh, I've I've stunned monsters numerous times, but yet they still attack. So I don't I don't think it. Stunning in this game works differently than any other where you stun them and they just stand there Duh! for some odd seconds while you just keep beating on them.
And, uh, with jewelry, unlike armor and weapons, uh, there is no, there is no tier system. Basically, no, aside from, uh, aside from quality, you know, white, blue, yellow, and orange, aside from that, they're, none of them are really more powerful than the other. I mean, 20 to maximum life, you know, increased uh, item rarity, you know, so no, nothing's really inherently better. So they kind of went with, uh, they kind of went with horizontal progression on this. In other words, there's no, there's no need to, there's no coral rain level two or anything like that. And another thing I like about this game. No gold. That means if I wanted to say, let me see if I can find one. I'll I'll, I'll say this. If you have um, if you have twenty shards of alchemy, I think they're called. You have twenty of them. It makes one of these always. It's fairly consistent. Um, whereas uh, with gold, you'll you'll often have to pay nineteen thousand three hundred and thirty-eight gold for this item, or or, you, or this monster this monster here dropped and left two hundred thirty-three thousand seven hundred and ninety-three gold, you know, or some some exact precise number. It, it's a lot easy. It's a lot easier just to have a 20 of these makes one item. Um, Orbit transmutation and various other uh, crafty maps work the same way. 20, 20 shards of this makes one. It's a simple conversion. No, no rocket science involved. And I kind of touched on this earlier. And um, the color of the gems um, corresponds to to what stat is required. Red is strength. Excuse me. Green is dexterity. Blue is intelligence. But uh, you also find uh, hybrid gems too. They don't show it in here, but there's um, there's various gems that uh, also require uh, also require another stat too. That's uh, whenever you hear me say uh, this is a Templar gem or this is a uh, shadow equipment, that's what I mean. If there's two different uh, attribute requirements, that's what I'm referring to. Then maps, same thing. This is another thing that uh, this is another part of the game I like. Uh, I said this earlier, but this. Look at something like this. You know you're. You know it's not going to be a bland end game. All that variety. Um. Well, I guess I could. Um. I guess I could. Oh wait, this is all. These are rankings. Hold on. Don't. I think I pretty much covered everything here. Um, not much need to go there. Uh, let's look for something else. Race using the signature race. But events, events pretty much go over my head. Like I said, I'm not a ladder person. I'm not a season person. I'm just a regular old SSF hardcore person. Uh, I guess ignoring the um, ignoring the rankings. SSF stands for Solo Self Found, which is damn. I'll I'll just explain hardcore. Um, this is um, I guess this is probably one of my gripes about 
about this game. Um, I want my hardcore experience to be a hardcore experience. Like, when I die, I want my character gone. You know, just gone, you know, something saying, your character has died. Your, your deeds will live on in the annals. That's it. He's gone. Bye-bye. And none of this being moved into softcore. I mean, if I wanted to play softcore, I wouldn't be playing softcore. I wouldn't be playing hardcore first. But I kind of understand why why they do that, though. Like, if you died due to, like, a, a disconnect or, or say, uh, ISIS is driving a truck down the street and it's, like, killing a whole bunch of people and you better get out of there before... They run into your house and kill you, or something, or you know, something like that, where you have to AFK for a while, something like that, and uh, your character ends up dying in the process. I can understand why it would just get shifted over to softcore, but otherwise, no. And then I said this earlier: SSF, solo cell phone. You can't trade with other players. You can't party with them. Which, like I like I said, I'm primarily a solo player. I unless I know you in real life. Or unless I have, um, if I have some, re if I have a good reason to trust you, then I don't want to trade with you or party with you. Um, I guess, no on that note, uh, I guess another drawback to this game that I noticed recently, you, um, uh, you can't inspect other players. I'd kind of like to be able to do that in nearly every other RPG i played. You can do that. You can inspect their gear and how powerful they are and stuff. Because uh, one thing I want to avoid in any game is uh, running with a character that's way more powerful than me. That just runs in and just one-shots everything. I mean, I want to play the game too. You know, I mean, that's you know that's what I'm here for. But if you got that one OP player that just steamrolls through everything, just leaves me sitting here. You know, I, not my idea of a good time, so. Bulk item exchange. I guess I could show you. Um, I could touch on the uh, microtransactions, which is another reason why I like this game. <laughs> There's um, every everything in this game, all the microtransactions in this game are cosmetic. There's um, it's either cosmetic or it's um extra stash space. Although I don't know what a Oh, that's what that is. Okay. I was watching um, I was watching other streamers do this. I was watching. Excuse me. I was watching other streamers, and I noticed that uh, all their all their tabs and whatnot look totally different than what, what I got. I thought they were just using like a using uh, mods or something like what a World of Warcraft has. You can use uh, various UI mods or third-party UI mods. Excuse me. To make your game look different. And this one here I find kind of pointless because already as it is, if I'm guessing right, you can have a, you can have up to 24 characters on your account. I mean, you must, I mean, you must have some serious uh, alt issues if you need more than that. Currency stash tab. Okay, now even I'm starting to. Or, no, no. I already have, I already have four stash slots. I sure as hell don't need another one of those. But, like I said, everything, everything, everything here, it's just um, it's all cosmetic. It isn't like most other games where uh, you can buy leveling speed. You can buy. You can buy a special armor. This is especially true on, uh, I think, uh, in Korean games. I'm trying to remember the name of. I I don't. It wasn't per. It wasn't Perfect World. Although it, it could be another one of those games, but you could sit there and you can be. It's literally pay to win. You can buy a uh, super mega armor. You can buy like super mega armor. You can one shot everything and and all that. 
back. Oh yeah, looks looks to be about it. Um, can't think of anything else more to say. Just like I said, I just thought I'd retouch thought I'd retouch on this, make another one of these videos. Uh, now that I played this game for a while, and then just kind of a, I guess kind of a trip down memory lane, sort of kinda. But, but I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll call that good. Oh, oh wrong one. There we go. Well, thanks for watching.